I'm going to show you how to make a perfect, pure comfort food, warm rhubarb crumble, caressed with raspberries, super healthy, super delicious, and very, very good for you actually. And it's going to keep you warm and cozy this winter. It's very simple to make. And right now I'm just cutting up some rhubarb. I've got a few bunches here because I just love my rhubarb and anything that's left over um, is going to be used the next day for a beautiful warming porridge or over yogurt and granola for breakfast. So it's perfect. With your rhubarb, just cut them into nice generous chunks and I'm literally putting them in to a baking dish. Just large enough as well. You want to create a bit of room. You don't want to overcrowd it either. Just want to get a few more bits of rhubarb that I've washed as well. Love these little guys. They're high in fibre. They're also high in polyphenols. So same as you, what you would find in, in, in red wine or green tea. And they're very good for you. Perfect for di digestive health and gut health. Now this is enough here. So I've got the rhubarb. And what I want to do is just squeeze over some orange juice. So around one or two oranges. So this is going to create a bit of moisture and you need a bit of moisture when you're roasting the rhubarb in the oven. And this way the rhubarb is going to re like and retain some of its shape as well, which is really good. And the oranges are going to add a beautiful citrus flavour to the whole dish. So one or two oranges based on the size. Perfect. Okay. I can eat the insides of those later. A little bit of vanilla extract, around about two teaspoons. And not too much sugar, but around about two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use honey as well, but just to caress it, just to gently coat it, not make it overly sweet because I like the tartness in rhubarb. And now I'm just gonna massage it through gently and bake it in a reasonably moderate oven, 180 degrees for around about 15 minutes. So 180 degrees fan force, which is around 200. Okay, so whilst my rhubarb is roasting lovely in the oven, I'm gonna make my crumble top. So I'm loving crumble at the moment and the more crumble, the better. So for this rhubarb crumble, I've pretty much got two lots of flowers. I've got almond flour here, so, and I've also got oat flour. So oat flour, you can make it pretty much just by putting oats in a blender or a food processor and blitzing it until it's fine. So I've got oats in here as well, making it super healthy, high in protein, high in fiber, really, really good. And just a few tablespoons of coconut sugar or rapadura, something that's unrefined and good for you. So I'm putting a little bit extra in. So mixing all that through, until it's really nicely incorporated. This is gonna be the yummiest crumble and you can't make a crumble without butter. So I've got some lovely butter cubes in here and then I'm gonna gently rub into my almond meal and my oats. So making sure that they're carefully rubbed in. So this might take about five minutes. So here it is, crumble's done. So you're going to have some bits of butter still in there, but that's what I like. They melt through the crumble and cook really well when they cook. But this is your gorgeous, beautiful crumbly mixture. And now all I need to do is wait for the rhubarb to come out and I'm going to pile it on top. Look at that. Spectacular. This is looking great. Okay, so it's just been in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And what I want to do now, this is going to give it a glorious colour. I'm going to just caress this with some frozen raspberries. And um, what this does, this not only adds a beautiful colour, but it adds a boost of antioxidants as well, which is really good. What I want to do now, because I want to save some for breakfast in the morning, I'm just transferring some of this rhubarb and raspberry mixture into a wonderful baking dish. So 
this is going to present really well too when it comes out of the oven. I've got my rhubarb in here, I've got my raspberries in here, it's looking fantastic and then generous amounts of my beautiful oatmeal almond crumble on top. And I'm saying be very generous, as generous as you want. Spectacular. Now, into an oven again for around about 30 minutes. Now, if you have to turn the oven down a bit, feel free to do so. Around about 30 to 35 minutes until it's all bubbly and gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, lush rhubarb. Lots and lots of crumble. The perfect warming dessert. Caressed with some beautiful custard. And some good quality Greek style yogurt. Pure comfort food, enjoy.